everybody so have you guys heard about the stay at home girlfriend trend it's everywhere it's on instagram it's on tiktok i compiled a few videos and i'll share my thoughts on the whole thing at the end of this video let's get into this video and share your comment like share your thought about this in the comment section what do you what do you think about the the trend the stay at home girlfriend trend what do you think about it would you be a stay-at-home girlfriend if it were presented to you or do you aspire to be a stay-at-home girlfriend let me know in the comment section what you think about the whole trend and let's get into the video here's a day in the life of a stay-at-home girlfriend who also does tiktok i start the day off with some breakfast for my boyfriend and then he leaves for the day i'm going to an event with ada nola they're hosting a pilates class the event was so cute and i got such a good workout in then I'm heading to my next event with Fenty Beauty. We were picked up in a vintage car that took us to a drive through where we got shade match. You stay in the car for the whole experience, but you can get off at the end for some alcoholic milkshakes and also some really cute photo ops. Then I went home for a delivery from Estee Lauder and these cuties came bearing gifts. Another vintage car and I got to take some cute pics in it. The goodies were so aesthetic, so obviously I had to take more content. Here's me responding to my manager and looking through creative briefs for my brand partnerships. Then I unwind and usually go for a swim. I'm also reading A Little Life and it's currently destroying my life. <laughs> then my boyfriend comes home, we make dinner together and relax. Day in the life of a stay-at-home girlfriend. So I'm heading over to the spa today and I need to get my one month treatment in. I'm at the one and only, so I need to eat first though. I'm super, super hungry. And this place is so beautiful, oh my goodness. I found this Asian fusion restaurant at the hotel and it's beautiful, of course. I had to get a drink first things first. It's super hot here. I enjoyed my sushi, but my drink, my cocktail was amazing. I don't know what I was thinking walking to the spa because I almost melted into the concrete. And this changing room is the first place where I saw a boob job and I don't think I'll get my boobs done. I was here with a bunch of Russian babes and no, I don't think it's for me. I am actually here to do a traditional hammam and I liked it. It was too immersive for me. I couldn't even record it, but I got the chance to just rest afterwards. And she did like a little bit of a, is it like a tea ceremony? You know how they pour it? This is so cool. I need to learn how to do that. I ended up just going home and passing out. What I spend my girlfriend allowance on part two. I go to the spa every month, sometimes twice a month. I love to relax. Spending time with my friends, just doing fun activities, girlfriend lunches, spending time with my family as well. I take my sister out quite a bit. We enjoyed this comedy night. I will spend top dollar on my wellness. So my dermatologist, I recently got a dietitian that I see every month. I love learning new things, so I'm taking a matte Pilates course in the winter so I, be I can become an instructor. I took a floral arrangement course. I just love learning new things. I'm investing more in my aesthetics, so I got some microblading done on my brows and I'm seeing someone to do some fillers and there's no part three. Like, this is it's a new year, so welcome to another episode of A Day in My Life as a 25-year-old stay-at-home girlfriend. First, I wash off all of the regrets and ickiness away from last year. Then I play with makeup from the $10,000 Sephora haul that my boyfriend got me because I'm obsessed with makeup and have nothing better to do. And this time, the puppy was around, so I made sure to take her to her favorite park. But first, let's do a skin check. Yep, glowy as always. After tiring her out from her run, we come home and we prepare for lunch and cuddle as I am reminded of the only reason I like living this lifestyle. While we do this, our personal chef delivers me a gourmet meal because real at home girlfriends don't cook. We ended the day with a visit to his friend's clothing line launch in collaboration with Roots. Unfortunately, I quit, so this will be our last video. This is everything I did for my boyfriend today as a stay-at-home girlfriend. The first thing I always do is make him a coffee. He loves these lattes with some cinnamon on top. And then I take it down to his office for him. And then he handed me his water bottle to fill up. And I realized I had to change the water filter, which I needed some help with. And then I continued to fill up his water with ice cubes. I tidied up our room and made the bed. Unloaded the dishwasher and then reloaded it. Made Luke some chicken salad on toast. Then made him another latte because he always likes to have... A second one in the afternoon. I sorted all of our laundry into piles and started putting it into the washer. 
When it came around dinner time, I started to get cooking. I make dinner every night. Tonight, I made lamb meatballs, which is one of Luke's favorite meals. They turn out so yummy. And then after dinner, I clean up all the dishes in the dishwasher. And <laughs> I think I forgot to cut this part out. Oops. I made him tea and then I hung up a lot of we exposed the stay at home girlfriend trend and why it's so toxic i see all these content creators glamorizing the fact that they can stay at home all day and do nothing but here's what they don't tell you first in every relationship there is an equal exchange of value so if your man is paying for everything this doesn't mean that you can sit back and do nothing like all these content creators are suggesting what it means is that you will have to do your part in giving him traditional women benefits. And there's nothing wrong with that because I cook for my boyfriend, I manage his laundry, but no creator talks about that just because it's not cool. So it gives this unrealistic idea that you just have to find a man who's willing to give you everything while giving nothing in return. But the most toxic thing above all is that as a society, we are putting this false dichotomy onto women, saying that they can either choose to be in a happy relationship but they have to be financially dependent or if they have career success themselves then they're not going to be able to find a man because they're too masculine if you need proof all you need to do is look at my videos where i post my boyfriend doing cute things for me i get a ton of comments of people assuming that i live off my boyfriend because it's so hard for people to fathom the fact that you can be with a provider man but also make your own money as a woman at the same time. So for the ladies listening to this, be the girl who can do both, okay? Be the girl who's got high standards and who can remain feminine and be with a provider man, but also show up as the kind of woman who is a career or business badass and make your own money so that no one can ever tell you you're reliant on a man. Listen to this before you decide to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. A woman of value does not give wife privileges at girlfriend prices. There is a new trend emerging called stay-at-home girlfriends, where our girls live in the lap of luxury without any financial responsibility. As tempting as that may sound, two things are wrong here. You should never rely solely on a man that is not your husband and the second is a big one no man should have access to you anytime he wants without an investment in this case an investment is not a chanel bag it is a commitment and a commitment is marriage we are not in high school i don't play house people have it right when they say wait until he invests in you but remember an investment is not just financial and if you are with a man that is a master of the universe super financially stable and wealthy money means nothing to him businessmen especially know the importance of legalities papers and documents don't let any man convince you that it is unimportant we do not do stay at home girlfriends we are wives We've seen the stay at home girlfriend trend on TikTok. All I'm gonna say is if you marry for money, you're gonna be paying for it for the rest of your life. Never, ever, ever depend on a man for anything, let alone your finances. Once you start making your own money, once you start treating your family, your sisters, once you stand on your two feet, the confidence this is gonna give you. Of course, do what you wanna do, but especially a girl in your early 30s or 20s, this is your time to work hard and make a name for yourself. And once you're like 60 years old and you've had like four kids, we can have- One of the biggest mistakes a woman can make in her 20s is being a stay-at-home girlfriend. I know this is a very controversial take, especially now with the rise of Sprinkle Sprinkle, Lady of Leisure, Soft Life. And being a stay-at-home girlfriend might seem like a glamorous lifestyle, but I feel like it has a lot of hidden costs that are never really discussed by these creators. Unlike a stay-at-home wife, there's no legal protection to being a stay-at-home girlfriend. As a stay-at-home girlfriend, I would argue that you're contributing to the success of your partner by doing major tasks like cooking and cleaning and taking care of the household. But if he decides leave you or you decide to leave him or maybe he even dies you don't get any legal access to any of the success that you've contributed to this means you don't get any alimony you don't get any access to any income that's generated in that relationship that will leave you in a situation where you have no way to financially maintain this lifestyle another thing you really have to consider is the fact that instead of using your 20s to invest in your career in your finances in your future you're putting that investment back into your partner you're not really getting a chance to leave your 20s with any skills that you can monitor 
monetize in the future. And this is a price that you'll definitely have to pay for in your 30s. That's why some of the smartest stay-at-home girlfriends have side jobs. They're investing in their education. And some of them are honestly truly content creators. Like if there's a content creator that says that they're a stay-at-home girlfriend and the majority of their money is coming from content creation, they're not a stay-at-home girlfriend. She's selling you a lifestyle that's being funded by her content creation. Another big con of being a stay-at-home girlfriend is the lack of financial independence. A lot of people on this app make it seem like being financially dependent on a man is very glamorous, but I don't think it's as glamorous as they're making it seem. A woman being financially independent is one of the best gifts that you can give yourself because it allows you to be flexible, have options. It basically gives you freedom. So if you ever change your mind in the relationship and you decide this is not where I want to be, you can exit the relationship whenever you want to. Like imagine if you have a major disagreement with your partner, but he's the one that pays for all the bills and you have no financial way of living without him. That's going to make you make some compromise is that you wouldn't have made if you had that financial independence. Being financially dependent on your partner creates a power imbalance where he basically has all the power to decide what he wants in that relationship. Of course, you have some good men who see the money they earn as the money for both of you guys, but just having your own money really provides you with so much freedom and flexibility. Another big con of being a stay-at-home girlfriend is the loss of identity. You're more than a girlfriend. You're a complicated human being, and tying your identity to another person is a recipe for disaster because if they leave you or you decide to leave, you kind of lose a huge part of what you've identified yourself as. So these are a few reasons why I think being a stay-at-home girlfriend is definitely not as glamorous as these women are making it seem like. And I'm not someone who doesn't like to be spoiled by my partner, but I think that we definitely need to spend time talking about the hidden costs and consequences of being financially dependent on your partner. The only time that I am truly jealous of a man is when he has a cute ass stay-at-home girlfriend. Like, can you imagine someone making you home-cooked meals every day? Taking care of you when you're sick? Feeding the pets when you're out for too long? How does it feel to live my dream? Like, don't worry about rent. Baby, I got it. I'm out here working hard enough for the both of us, okay? You sit your ass at home. Just provide the good vibes. Please, Lord. Please, someday. All right, guys, now this is my thought on the whole subject, okay? I, I am not going to shame or slate any woman who wants to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. Now, all I'm going to say is make smart moves, okay? While you're at it, there's so many women who are talking about it, and I do agree with, with a lot of them on the subject because um, it is not guaranteed, but then again, there's nothing in this life that is guaranteed, okay? So if you're going to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, make sure that you have something going for you. Get an education, get a side hustle, do something. Don't just stay at home taking care of some guy because the thing is, if he picked you when you were, or you agreed to become a stay-at-home girlfriend at a certain point in time when you were young, let's say you were 22, 23, 25, 26, I don't know, you decide to be a stay-at-home girlfriend. What if he changes his mind? and now you're 30 and then he doesn't want you and he wants a younger version of you and he lets go of you and all you are used to now is staying at home just cooking and cleaning for some guy so have something going for yourself and I'm happy that all of them seem to be content creators anyway so that's my take on it as for what the girls were saying about giving your independence away i don't know about that what do you think about that leave your comment in the comment section i want to know what you guys think about this whole trend would you be a stay-at-home girlfriend I mean, if it were presented to me i don't know when i was 22 23 i don't know if i would be a stay-at-home girlfriend at the time so i can't tell okay but how do you feel about it i want to know let's have a conversation see you in the next video take care of yourselves bye